Welcome, welcome, dear visitors, to a new demonstration in wood carving. I start here next to the river to show you the wood which I use for carving. It's this type of tree, alder tree. They grow next to the river, they even have their roots inside the water. So this one is an alder tree. Now let us cross the road over the street, it's my workshop. You see it's open on both sides. Here you find the finished animals. My knives and the cutouts. Children can usually choose one of them and I will carve it in front of their eyes. Today I want to carve for you a little rabbit, this one, or this one, and I even have a third type. Let's see. This one, the walking one, standing up and sitting one. It's all similar how they are made. First I need this big knife to make the nose a little bit smaller. And same the tail. Don't worry, I will show you now in detail so you can watch it. Here I go from up down and the same with the tail and here opposite towards the ears starting from the legs and the tail the same Now I need this little pointed knife and I will go around to have the edges a little bit rounder. Here I have to meet here again. I mean this cut from down has to meet exactly this cut. Now over the back from the tail to the ears and here again I cannot continue to carve up there I have to go from this direction. <clears throat> so let's do the other side from the tail to the ears from the tip of the ears to the back from the nose here to front legs of course I'm 
And this knife I can separate the ears. So it has two of them. First one is ready. The second one. Again, I carve towards my thumb. Can you see this? Here, always the thumb is hiding somewhere. Sometimes I can carve away from me, then I take some of the left hand to push the knife forward. <clears throat> Here you can watch this again. The thumb of the left hand pushes the knife and here I carve again towards me. Same procedure to have the to have two of those ears. Take this knife and split them in two. So you have a chance to watch it once more. Here I cannot continue, I have to go from this side and from here and I must try so they meet there in the middle. Here again, it's a little bit tricky this one. You can see I, if I cut up here it goes deeper and deeper so I must stop it and cut from up. upside down very awake little fellow this rabbit very attentive So it's almost finished. I can do some smoothing with sandpaper. Number one, number two, and the third one. Thank you for watching. And if you want to try, you can order those cutouts in my shop.